I'm Kathy Seahutter. In 1995 of May, my husband Greg and my son Dan and my daughter Nina and myself, and Nina was 15 and a half years old at the time, took a much anticipated vacation to Florida. A drunk driver fell asleep at the wheel and he crossed the medium and slammed his truck into the back seat, the driver's side, where my daughter Nina was sitting. My beautiful 15 and a half year old daughter with the incomparable smile and promising future uh, was, she was dead. Um, when the ambulance got there, they, they took they took my husband and I, and uh, we were brought to a nearby hospital where um, we were in the emergency room. I, I was laying on a, a gurney waiting for my treatment, and um, a very kind hospital chaplain stayed by my side. And suddenly through the door um, came two highway patrol people, a woman and a man, and one of them was carrying Nina's purse and they robotically walked over to the gurney on the side of me and they basically plopped her purse on my chest. And they, they looked at me with no expression and said, your daughter's dead. And without emotion, they just turned around and walked away. There was never a, never a sorry, never lingered to see how I was, they walked away. I think it would have been so easy for them to just simply walk over to me and, and say in a gentle way, I'm so very sorry, but your daughter was killed in the car accident. And maybe even take my hand for a few seconds and then just gently give me her purse. And maybe even just lingered a little bit to let me show my sorrow and, and my anger. I, I think that would have been it's such a simple thing to do and maybe even show a little bit of emotion. I think this must be very, very hard for people who have to give notifications like that. I mean, I can't even imagine it doing, my, doing that myself. I know so many of them suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder and part of that reason is because of the scenarios they see all the time and giving somebody the worst news of their life. I can't imagine how traumatic that must be.